everyone it's Bia and I'm back with another video with fearless expression I have missed you guys so much I hope you guys miss me as much as I miss you um, kind of had to take a break from filming because my phone had broke and I ended up buying like a whole new phone and I basically got a phone that don't have so much storage on it because I personally just don't want to be like holding on to so much stuff and trying to have space from like pictures and videos that I honestly just need to get rid of to begin with so um I got a whole new phone and I kind of just wiped everything out and I also didn't keep like anything that I had before although I know I probably can retrieve some of the stuff from my iCloud um which I probably will but I just kind of wanted a fresh new start so I decided to purchase my own personal vlogging camera. As you know, guys know, I am a photographer. I always have a camera. But I didn't want to use my work camera um, for personal use just to make sure that my camera stays safe. So I spent um, the month to kind of save up and get me a vlogging camera, which you guys are seeing my beautiful face on today. So, yeah, I'm so happy to see you guys. Um... I'm excited to get this video started, get it posted, and to share the adventure that we'll be doing today. I'm so excited, guys. So, today I decided to take and use my camera, get back in the zone with filming, and just kind of, I don't know, have a day to myself. It's like a Tuesday, and I'm not in the studio today, and I did some work yesterday so I could kind of just have some free time during the day and then do some work in the evening um but yeah so this video is just kind of going to be a day in the life with me doing adventurous things um i kind of my sister gave me this idea to go check out um it's called be a sweetie candy company um so that's where i'm going i did some research on it and I looked at it and it looked like super cool it's like a huge candy store just full of candy and I thought it would be a good idea to do a video of me going to the candy store and then I'll do like a part two of me like trying out the different candy I tried there um from my experience and what I've seen like as reviews it seems to be like a super 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 fun place um not only for kids but also for adults as you can see here Oh, who you can see? Can you see? I don't know. There you go. It's like the lights. But yeah, B A Sweetie Company, Candy Company. So that's where I'll be spending part of my day at. And I'm so excited to do so. Um, so let's go ahead, get on the road, get started. Of course, I'm not gonna film too much while I'm driving because I'm not trying to get copyrighted for a music plan, and I'm trying to Turn, 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 turn up. No, I just like to play my music. So, yeah, that's where we're at. Um, yeah, I'm super excited to be getting back to filming. I have some cool things that I'll be sharing and doing videos of. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Ooh, 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 ooh
I made it into the store. Uh, right now, I have a cart. Because I'm going to buy some candy. Um, you probably see me, but I took like some footage. So this store actually has been around since 1950. Um, they had like a smaller location. And then like in the 1980s, they moved to, this is a 4,000 square feet building. So it's like full of candy. It has like a um, ice cream shop as well as like a soda shop, which I'll definitely be trying here in a second. But right now I'm just gonna explore, try to find some good candy. And yeah, let's get started. Look at this. This is a whole wall full of heads. I think that's what they were called. Uh, I remember eating these as a little kid. These are so cute. Like this wall is just full of them. Look how many pants it is. And I'm pretty sure like I was younger they were way cheaper than that. But I mean, it's a nostalgia. So I guess we're paying for. Like, oh my god, they got Lion King. This is so cute. <laughs> they got Aladdin. It's so nice. Oh my god, they got Harry Potter. Look at this Harry Potter because I wish I liked this candy. Like this candy was not really like tasty to me. So if I get it, it really would just be like for shits and giggles. But I didn't really I didn't like I didn't care for this candy. But these are like mystery flavors, so I don't know. Should I get it guys? Just for the shits and giggles. I think I'm gonna get this Harry Potter one. Because I do like Harry Potter. So we're gonna put that in the cart here. But yeah, this is just like it's just a whole wall because this would be super cute, like if a kid was like having a birthday party thing. And they have like certain themes. They have like this taco one, that taco one is cute. They actually have like the actual candy. The solid one might be tasty. But the one I have, it's like unknown flavor. So I think that would be cool to try. Let's see what else they got going on in here. Oh my god, so I don't know like if anybody watched my channel, have you ever seen like I remember these magic balls growing up. I used to have one. Me and my sister used to have one. And they like just to tell your fortune. I'm like, well I mean a multi-millionaire. Let's see. Well I mean a multi-millionaire. It's not showing the answer. Let's see. Um, well I'll be a multi-millionaire. What did I say? I'm like, no. Well, too bad I don't live my fortune off of that, so I am going to be a multi-millionaire. This section is like all the theater candy. So it's literally all the candy that you can get from like the theater. Ooh, those jelly beans, they look like they might be good. All theater candy. What is your favorite theater candy? I think I'm gonna go for, so I'm gonna like try some new stuff. So I used to really like these cookie doughs. I think I'm gonna try the red velvet. Then, hmm, what else? I think I 
gonna get these ones. The Mike Knight Make a Mix Sour. All right, so I went past these the first time. These are the Warheads, and I remember Warheads growing up. So I think I'm gonna try one of the Warheads here. They have the ones that ooze, the little worms, the cubes, and the jelly beans. I think I want to try, I don't know, what's that between the ooze, the cubes, and the worms? I think I'm going to go for the worms. So the warhead worms. So guys, I failed to mention at the beginning, so I'm not like really a candy person. Like, I like candy, and like I eat it, but like... I'm not really a sweets girl in that way so I wanted to just like come here to try something different and then um, also to try some candy because I like candy I'm not gonna sit here and say I don't like it but it's just not it's not like I'm not like a candy girl I don't have like a sweet tooth so I never had a cavity from like eating too much candy so um, I am have, I'm gonna have like fun trying to like find like different candies I can try and then try them and then kind of share them with my family because they want some candy too and they're definitely gonna eat it so yeah this is like a new adventure for me to try something different all right so these are like super mario candy these are so cute these are super cute they got pac-man I don't even know what's in here, but I know it's candy, but it's like Pac-Man shake. That is so cute. Got a little ghost sours. I got a Nintendo game here. It's like a Game Boy. That is so cute. Actually, so the funny thing is I have like a Game Boy memory card holder. I actually got it in my purse. Let me show y'all. It's so cute. I'm being extra right now. I've been wanting to show you guys. <laughs> so this is like my memory case for like where I put my memory cards in. I got off of Amazon. Isn't that so cute? So it's kind of cute seeing that here. Um, oh my God, they have ramen candy. So anybody who's in the anime, I like anime. I think I want to try it actually while well, I'm sitting here saying anyone. I actually like this. So I think I'm going to try it. This is so cute. Oh my God, they have sugar skulls. I love sugar skulls. I love skulls. I like that skull design. A little unicorn. They have Dragon Ball Z. Oh my god. Not golden girls. Strawberry vanilla cheesecake candies. And they got the golden mint cheesecake shake mints. That's kinda cute. Oh my god, I got Avatar. Oh, what is this? Blue sour blue raspberry. Can you see it? It is so cute. Alien heads. They got Reptar. See, it's like really nostalgic here. Oh my God, Bob Ross flavor palette. <laughs> it's like, what is this? Let me see. So it's like, you know, like, it's like a dipping, like, your paintbrush into it. That's pretty cool. Like the powder, the sour powder. That's actually fun. Oh, my goodness. I got more Dragon Ball Z candy. The office, I'm dying. That is hilarious. And peeps. This is so cute. I love it. Get that, get that, get that.
right? So all this will all look like more of like those traditional candies they sell in the store. So they got like Lucy Cups and New York, New York Mints. I like York Mints. Animals. I love the peanut butter and I think I like those. I actually like those. And then I think I'll get some Reese's for my cousin because he really likes Reese's. They only have the thins, but I think he'll be happy with them. So we'll get those. Just see what else we got. We got Twix. Um, I really want to find like nostalgic candy, like candy I never tried before. Do like a second video, like trying some of these candies. So I really want to find like some unique candies I never had before. So. I can do like a little haul with them, a little like YouTube haul of trying these different candies here from the store. So I am kind of trying to find like some candy I never had before. Um, but all of these like seem familiar. So surprisingly, I said at the beginning, like I don't really care for candy, but clearly I have eaten a lot of candy over my time. So because a lot of, well, not a lot of them, but some of these is like, it reminds me of like when I was growing up and I had them. So yeah, definitely tried them. Definitely tried them, but that's cool. Oh, they have sugar-free candy. So for my people who can't have sugar, there you go, sugar-free candy. <laughs> I know it's probably not new, but I never tried it, so we'll add it to the collection. Look at this big lollipop of a pickle. That is so awkwardly cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I got unicorns. Magical poo. <gasps> Little mermaids. Those are so cute. Those are so adorable. As you can see, these are insects, and I'm actually going to try one. 
I put one in the cart. I'm just not showing you which one I'm trying because I want it to be a surprise. But yes, I'm going to try one of the insects. And then they also have like these chili, like they're like chili, like jalapeno suckers. I didn't get this one particularly. So this is like so nice too. I think these are like Mexican or Hispanic, I would say, type of candies. Because they're like, they spicy. And I was in Mexico as well as I always see like a, like Hispanic culture. They always said they used to eat like a lot of spicy candy. So this is kind of cool. I actually think I'm going to try a few of these with the spice on it. And look, they're only like 89 cents at 59 cents. This is like when you're buying candy out like somebody's house. <laughs> These are so cool. done shopping for all my candy and I got lots of stuff I didn't show you guys too much of what I got because I want to surprise you guys when I try it in like my tasting haul but I did get some ice cream which I'm going to eat right now it's called the strawberry uh, shoreway sundae and it has like ice cream filling I asked for extra strawberry ice cream a whipped cream cherry and then like little pieces of shortbread and I'm gonna do a post-up video but it's so cute but before I start, you know, I just want to show you guys. So, this is like their little ice cream parlor. Um, it's super cute. Very fun. So nice. And I'm actually sitting on this little swing they have. It's so cute. They have like sets of these swings. You see, isn't that cute? But, any hoodles. We're kind of crooked. There we go. Anyway, I'm going to get into my ice cream. And then I also have something else that's kind of weird that I'm going to try on camera. But yeah, I had lots of fun looking through all the candy. It was kind of cool. Kind of went back and very nostalgic with memories. Um, looking at all like the candy I used to eat when I was younger and seeing like different kind of candies from other cultures too so that was kind of fun um, my battery is about to die for my camera so yeah we're gonna have to cut it short My camera died in there so I guess I was in there for a minute uh, it was really fun I have fun like I said it was kind of fun seeing all the like nostalgic candy I used to eat growing up and then to also see like some different candy from like different cultures as well as just some like new flavors that I seen that came out with like um, well-known brand afloat 
with some vanilla ice cream and a set of root beer. I got bacon soda. Not bacon, baking soda, baking. Bacon. <laughs> I can't talk. So, I am going to be pouring the bacon soda into this and making a float. And let's just see how this is going to taste, okay? I am excited and also just like, what did I sign up for? So, if you see me like looking over here, I'm trying to get comfortable with like using my screen for like video. But no, no I have to look at the lens, so... Yeah, I have an issue with looking at myself clearly. But we're going to try this bacon soda. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I hope that the video prior to this recorded because my battery is dying. But this is a float and it's not just any float. It is a bacon soda float. So I don't know what to expect. Um, it smells kind of more like chocolate. I smell like a hint of chocolate but i don't know so we'll see i'm just trying to get my ice cream really floaty if that's what it is but <laughs> i'm actually kind of scared to try it but let's go ahead so it tastes like chocolate it actually really just tastes like chocolate in this ice cream it's not like nothing crazy like chocolate. It reminds me of Wendy's chocolate frosty. The vanilla ice cream is a really good flavor. And it's like like really good ice cream. But yeah. The bacon soda. I don't really get bacon from it. So when I was in there, I seen they had this, it was like chocolate bacon and chocolate and i'm like okay that's clearly gonna taste like chocolate and i was gonna get the bacon soda to buy but then when i went to the ice cream parlor side i seen i could float and i could do any ice cream so i mean any soda so i was like well i can try the bacon now so it's really not bad it's not bad as a float and so this is the soda I'm actually gonna try it. Yeah, it just tastes like chocolate. It tastes definitely like chocolate. It doesn't look like chocolate, if you guys can see it. You know, it doesn't come out like chocolatey, but it does taste like chocolate. I don't know if it's supposed to be like maple bacon. I'm really eating this because this vanilla, this vanilla ice cream is really, really good. So you see me eat my sundae in there. And it wasn't bad. I don't think... I didn't like the strawberry uh, topping sauce. It didn't taste like, like real strawberries. It tasted a little artificial. So it was good. The thumbs up is giving it its credit. But if I was to rate it like out of 10 I'd probably give it a four or five because them them strawberries tasted like really artificial they taste like they came out of a can so this is the end of my video thank you for tuning in and I'm always saying all right guys so that must be my catchphrase for my videos but anyway I've computed my <laughs> my camera battery is gonna die but I just want to show you guys I definitely secured a couple bags of goodies and I'll be doing a short video or another video kind of like a part two trying all of these little candies here um, definitely got some stuff um, for my family and for me to try in the videos in my next video so I'm excited all right guys stay safe try to enjoy life a little bit um and i hope you guys tune in to watch